What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the goods. Live hard, sell hard. So I got the DVD right here. It says uh, like $14.99 on there. I did not pay that much. I got this for, it was like 50 cents or a dollar. So yeah, there's a little front view. Got a little back action. So uh, so yeah, I just, I randomly picked this up on DVD probably uh, like a couple, couple months ago. I was, just, you know, I just picked it up out in the wild. I didn't order it or anything. I was just randomly at uh, some some store that, that sold DVDs. I think I was at Disc Replay and I saw this. I, b before seeing it, um, you know, at the store, I, I had never seen this movie. I had never even heard of it. I've never even watched the trailer, never even seen bits and pieces. So yeah, this uh, this movie for me pers personally like flew under the radar. I never even knew it existed. And you know, I saw a lot of uh, quite a few actors that I recognized. And then it, you know, if you see here, it says that it's um, you know from the guys behind Talladega Nights and Step Brothers. It was uh, it was co-produced by Will Ferrell and Adam McKay, which. They've, they've done, you know, countless uh, comedic classics. I mean, of course, Will Ferrell, his stuff, you know, his um, in front of the camera stuff is iconic. He's like as a comedic actor, he's he's the man. But um, Will Ferrell and Adam McKay, they they founded this production company, Gary Sanchez Productions. And I like a lot of movies that that, you know, Gary Sanchez Productions has produced and uh some like some just like a, some honorable mentions uh of stuff that will ferrell and adam mckay uh have been behind is they they um they actually you know they were behind eastbound and down uh which that that's like one of my all-time favorite shows that's a straight classic that's like one of the in my opinion, that's one of the best comedy shows of all time. And I feel like people don't even really talk about it these days. But yeah, Eastbound and Down is awesome. Um, like I said, Adam McKay and Will Ferrell were behind that. And they actually distributed uh, The Foot Fist Way, who, which is also uh, Danny McBride and Jody Hill. So yeah, um, like I said, I'm of course, I'm a huge fan of Will Ferrell in front of the camera. But I'm also a fan of... Uh, you know, Will Ferrell and Adam McKay's work in, you know, producing stuff and distributing stuff. So, you know, once I found out they were behind this and there was all these actors that I'm, you know, a huge fan of, I was like, I have to check it out. So I, I picked it up. I bought it. It's been sitting in my stack of DVDs for months. I never thought about it. It was collecting dust that had cobwebs all over it. And I was like, let me let me dust this thing off, give it a watch, give it a whirl, uh, see what the deal is with the goods. Live hard, sell hard. And uh, I'm I'm glad I checked this out because this this movie was good. Uh, this was a just a super solid comedy. Uh, I I enjoyed watching it, and there was really nothing wrong with it. It was it was just a a very serviceable comedy. And, you know, I just, I love this era of comedy. So, you know, this was, this was right up my alley. So jumping into a, uh, a plot summary, the movie focuses on this, uh, there's this car dealership and, and it's, it's, it's a dealership that's been around for a long time, but it's failing. They're, they're having financial troubles. They just can't sell cars. So they call in this, uh, this like expert car salesman who is, uh, his name is Don Reddy and he's played by Jeremy Piven. And, uh, so Don Reddy comes to this dealership with his, with his team and they are tasked to sell all, like they have to, they have to like turn a profit. They have to, in, in, in one weekend, they have to like turn a profit and, and save this dealership. And later on in the, like later on in the movie, this rival dealership 
offers to buy out the owner of the dealership and he's about to do it but Don Reddy is like no I can I can sell every car on the lot and there's around like uh, like slightly over 200 cars on the lot he's like no don't sell the dealership I can sell every uh, every car on the lot over the weekend which is it, it's like pretty much an impossible feat but the the dealer the dealership owner agrees and the rest of the movie follows Don Reddy and his team trying to sell every single car in this lot doing whatever they can um, you know going to like desperate measures doing wacky crazy um, things to, to sell these cars and they go through you know quite a few trials and tribulations in the process uh, at times it's really not going well and you know all while this is happening Don Don Reddy is he's he's struggling with uh, like a, like there's this like internal conflict where he just he feels lost he doesn't have like fulfillment in his life and he's just he's really going through it so uh, in addition to having this like external conflict where you know Don Reddy he's he's got to sell all these cars like it would have been easy peasy like if if the uh, like the dealership owner if he would have sold he said like Don I'll just if I'm just gonna sell you don't have to finish the job I'll pay you and your team it could have been easy but now you know Don has this external conflict where he made this promise he has to sell all these cars he has to save the dealership and he's like going through it he's like in his fields he's like what am I doing with my life so yeah he's got the external struggle gotta sell the cars also gotta like figure out just his, his life overall so that's the the basic plot summary um, jumping in first th first things first I'm gonna jump into just some over overall uh, general things that I liked so this is a comedy movie what did I think about the comedy uh, like I like I said earlier I thought the comedy was absolutely on point in this it was right up my alley I love stuff from you know the 2000s to the early 2010s where you know you could be raunchy you could be inappropriate you could have a just balls to the wall r-rated comedy i mean nowadays we know they don't even really put out comedies and you know if if they do put out a comedy nowadays it's very tame this i mean this is a uh uh, this this is like what a what a R-rated comedy should be. It's, I mean, it's just it's like all the humor is super adult. It's super offensive, and I just I love it. It's just it it's over the top. It's it's just it's hilarious. So the comedy was excellent. Um, also, I I thought um I thought the story was pretty good. I was pretty invested in in Don Reddy as a character um, I I liked how he, he had this like over-the-top um, charismatic persona but at the same time we got to see like the human side of him where it's like yeah he's this expert in his field he's you know he, he's like the super cool suave smooth guy but like internally he's he's going through it he's like every other person he's seeking fulfillment and it's like yeah he's really good at this thing but that's not enough for him and he he needs something you know something more in his life and that's I feel like like most people can relate to that like uh, even if you do have a lot of great things going on in your life I, I you always like th you always like want more you know like I I, tr I I try to always like practice gratitude and I'll be like you know what I'm blessed I got this this and this but you always think like I, you know my life will be great when I have this or when I have that and he's kind of going through uh, through that struggle so yeah I really liked the story I really liked his um, I really liked following Don Reddy's character and just in addition to following Don Reddy's character I liked the story overall there were there were a lot of ups and downs I was very invested in the story and it you know 
it, it was very eventful. Like there was just crazy stuff happening. Like at one point there was this there was this riot, and you know like at, at one at one point in the story, Don Reddy just dips and he's like just wandering through the desert, and it's just it, the story has a lot of ups and downs, and it's very eventful as well. And it just it kept my attention. So I I, I dug it. It was a, it was a great story, very serviceable. Um, moving on to another point. These, uh, this point is kind of, this is like just, uh, me talking, talking about like a, like a personal thing. So th this movie, you know, work, workplace comedies are the bomb.com because they're so relatable. And this movie, part of the reason why I bought it and part of the reason why I wanted to watch it was because, uh, you know, I don't, I don't have like a sales job, but I, I work at this retail store and we do get, um, it's like a chain retail store. It's like a smoke shop and we do get commission on certain products. Like every, every month there, there'll be like four or five products that we get commission on and and we, it's like, we have to, um, we're like held accountable. Like they want to make sure that we're trying to sell these products. So, um, you know, part, well, part of our commission is like signing up people for our rewards program. So there's like a group chat for managers and assistant managers. And we have to, uh, every time we like sign people up for the rewards, we have to post it in the group chat. There's like a little tracker. And then every, every, um, every night we have these dry erase boards and like throughout the day we're supposed to keep track of all the commission based products that we sell and yeah like at the end of the night in the in the manager group chat we have to like post up the the picture of like how much uh you know how much we sold of the commission based products so even though i'm not in you know i my job would be considered retail i'm not like it's not like i'm like a sales rep or you know, like a actual salesman, I do like commission based sales is a big part of my job. So that's what led me, uh, partially what led me to want to buy this. And I just, I found the movie super, um, super relatable because you know, the, the actual dealership in the movie, they're, they're not trying to be sleazy, but then this, you know, Don Reddy's team comes in and they're like, you know, kind of like sleaze bags with it. And I feel like, I feel like that's like, like my, my coworkers and I, we always joke about that. Like we're, whenever we get a sale, like we call each other big sleaze. I just started saying big sleaze. I'm like, whenever one of my coworkers gets a sale, I'm like, yo, you're big sleaze over there. Or like, I'll sell something. My coworker, coworker one of my coworkers will be like, you're... Earl, you're a, you're a peddler, you're sleazy, you're big sleaze. So I feel like that's, um, you know, like sales are synonymous with being sleazy. And we just say it as a joke. We're not, um, sleazy, you know, do we exaggerate? Yes. Um, do we lie to people? No, we don't like that would actually be sleazy. But I like, I like how this movie touched on that because that's when people think of sales, they always think of like, you know, people being sleazy and, and just straight up lying. And, and, uh, Don Reddy's team was extremely sleazy. And when I'm talking about relatability, um, how I was talking about, uh, you know, how, how we have to keep track of our sales. Every time they get a sale in this movie, they ring this little bell that kind of reminded me of, you know, posting all, whenever, like I sign someone up for the rewards or someone in my store signs up someone for rewards, we posted in the group chat that, you know, like I kind of related that to like the bell in the movie. And then there was actually like an instance in the movie where they are keeping track of all their sales on a whiteboard. And I'm like, I do that every day for work. I'm like, this is super relatable. So, um, I, I kind of liked, you know, the, the, the sleaze aspect cause my coworkers and I joke about that, even though we're not really that sleazy. Um, we're, we're, you know, pretty honest with it. Uh, so I liked like the sleaze cause it was like exaggerated. And like I said, people do, um, people, when people think of sales, they think you're sleazy automatically. 
Um, but anyways, yeah, I like the sleaze angle because it was over the top, exaggerated, and I did like the stuff where they're keeping track of their sales because I do that at work, so it was super relatable. Um, I've said a relatable 50,000 times. My bad if I sound like a broken record. Um, jumping into my last point, so I kind of already touched on this when I was talking about like just overarching things like general themes in the movie that I like. So yeah, I like the, the whole message of, uh, you know, how like Don Reddy was feeling empty and he, he was like seeking fulfillment because I, I, I feel like that, you know, like w your, your work and your job is supposed to give you some fulfillment, but it can't be the only thing that's giving you fulfillment in your life. Like you need balance and Don Reddy did not have that balance. He was only living for himself. He was hi like hyper focused, almost fixated on, on work and being this expert salesman. But you know, he didn't have fulfillment in, in relationships or, you know, family or just like general well-being in his life. So I, I feel like that, you know, was an important point in the movie that you need balance, you need fulfillment from other areas in your life besides work, even though you do need fulfillment from work as well. And that's a, you know, uh, a great area to find fulfillment. Um, and part of that was this whole aspect of, you know, your work, your work unit or your team being kind of like a family. Um, I feel like that in my workplace, we like my coworkers and I, we all have each other's backs. Um, you know, well, Hey, one day, you know, my co my, one of my coworkers will buy the coffees and the next day I'll buy them. Or like, I'm helping people, giving them rides or, you know, people will like help me out, drop stuff off to my house. So I don't have to like, so I can like save a trip. So like my coworkers and I, we really, do have that family vibe and I feel like that's important that's what you know Don Reddy learns later on in the movie and I like how um you know like in the third act of the movie the the team not not Don Reddy's team but just the team that works at the dealership that Don Reddy is trying to save they kind of um they kind of band together and they take care of business get stuff done and I really like that aspect as well because, you know, Don, Don Reddy was a leader, but it wasn't like he, you know, he had to, he had to do it all. You know, he's, he's human. Like he was going through it. He was having, you know, tough times where sometimes he was selling super well. Sometimes he just wasn't on his game. Like even if you're an expert in your field or you are in a leadership position, um, or you're, you, you know, you're looked at as, as like a expert, you can't be on all the time. And I feel like your job, if you're you know an expert or you're like a leader, your job isn't to be on all the time. It's, you do have to be on and you do have to walk the walk, but like it, your job as this like leadership figure is to inspire your team and also to to, you know, to make them see that it's possible and to, to help them be the best version of this, of themselves and help them reach their potential. So I like that, um, how they kind of like touched on, you know, Don Reddy, inspiring people, being an expert, being a leader, but he was human, you know, he was still, he was making mistakes throughout the whole movie. And, uh, you know, he part, you know, part of his, journey to, you know, gain fulfillment was having this work family and, you know, inspiring them, making them, you know, like showing them how to be the best versions of themselves. So yeah, I really, uh, I really liked a lot of the themes in this movie and, you know, uh, it, it was super relatable. So in terms of a recommendation, uh, I, I would absolutely recommend this movie. I think it's uh, I think it's definitely worth your time. The comedy is on point as well. So I mean, it it really this movie hits all the marks for me. And you know, I feel like this this movie kind of flew under the radar. I never even heard about it, but I, I thought it was you know super solid. So if you have not seen um, the goods, live hard, sell hard, I would recommend checking it out. 
Um, so yeah, that has been my recommendation and that has been my review. Thank you all very much for watching and peace out.